Hello golfers, Eric Brzezinski here, day 17 of our 30 day April practice plan. Today is a tough drill, uh, but it's a good one and it's really gonna work your ankles and really help you understand pressure shifts again. We're talking about this a, a decent bit, but uh, again, it's one of the things that separates elite players from average golfers. Uh, we've been talking about pressure shifts and the sh pressure shifting to your trail side in the backswing, and then your pressure obviously shifting fairly quickly to your front leg during the downswing, okay? The thing is, we don't want to be excessive. We don't need to shift a ton of pressure or a ton of mass or a ton of weight to that back foot during the backswing, and we don't need to overdo it and get really far forward with our weight, especially our pressure will get to 80 to 95% on that front leg, but our weight doesn't need to get that far forward during the downswing. So today's drill is a tough one. It's gonna work your ankles, it's gonna work your core, but it's really intended to get you to stay kind of inside your feet. Okay, we don't wanna be shifting our pressure and our weight outside of our feet um, or very far outside of the inside of our ankles, really. That creates instability, creates problems. Then you're spending energy trying to correct that instability instead of delivering it into the golf ball. Okay, uh, we won't be hitting a golf ball, but I'm gonna put one right here anyway. Um, you can see I've got two noodles. Try to use noodles. If your ankles are really unstable, cut a noodle in half um, lengthwise and just stand on like the hemisphere of the, the noodle, the half, I guess the hemisphere is a, a globe, but you know, half of it, a half circle. Um, if you have only one pool noodle at home, tell your kid sorry and cut it in half so you can have one for each foot, okay? And then what you're gonna try to do then is you're gonna try to stand right on top of that noodle, okay? You don't wanna be standing to the inside of the noodle, you don't wanna have your feet on the outside of that noodle, okay? Right on top of that noodle, Okay, you can have the noodle flared slightly if you like to have your feet flared a little bit. Um, you can have it pretty square if you'd like to be a little square. Okay, so you're gonna stand there, and at first, you're gonna try to move your ankles so that you can feel, like here, they're over the inside. Here, I've rolled them too far, so they're outside. Here, I wanna move them so they're pretty much directly over the pool noodle, and I'm the most stable I can be. Okay, so it's just literally setting up like that and then generating a little motion like this while I'm keeping my ankles square over those noodles, right? I don't wanna be doing a lot of movements or anything like that. I don't want my knees kicking in like this. I wanna stay directly over those pool noodles, okay? Give them a little chance to rebound there, okay? That's the first two minutes. Just set up over it and then make little tiny motions maintaining some stability in that lower body, really keeping your ankles directly over the noodles. For the next three minutes, okay, I want you to swing back to three, right, left arm parallel. What I don't wanna see is, right, ankle, especially that right ankle swaying this way. I don't want you to try to like turn this ankle in so you can brace against it like that. I want you to let the pressure shift a bit this way so that I'm as you can see, kind of directly over that ankle. Okay, just a three. Okay, you'll feel this right hip go up. If it goes forward, it's gonna to tend to do this. If it goes back, it's gonna to tend to do that. So that right hip will go back that inch that we talked about before and up, okay? So three minutes of that, you can see that pressure is directly down on the instep of my ankle, right over that pool noodle. The next part, three minutes. So two minutes just staying there, going back and forth, three minutes of the backswing. The last three minutes, downswing just to about here. We don't need to go past there because past there some things change a little bit. So you can go to your backswing, however you want to get there. And then you'll shift over that left ankle. You can see I'm over that left ankle. And just go to about here. You don't have to do it fast, you can do it slow at first. Okay, that right foot will bank in, that trail foot will bank in a little bit. Obviously, we're taking almost all the pressure off that, so that doesn't matter. But this foot, I wanna be directly over the ankle. I don't wanna have rolled it too much this way. And I certainly don't want to have done anything to go to the instep. Good. A little tiny bit of torque, that way is good. What we don't want is Obviously something like that, or this knee going like way forward like that or something. 
So just a little bit of pressure that way, right? Directly over that ankle and only swing to about there. You get a nice workout with your ankles, your core, and you'll really get a good sense of where the pressure is shifting in your feet. Try to keep it over the inside of your ankles and you'll be good to go. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>